Uh, so I've done a fair bit of work on anorexia and dieting behavior in young women. And this work started back when I was a graduate student and I was interested in this sort of puzzling problem about why women would diet to the point of emaciation. When you think about it, a lot of women's attention and the things that they care about are focused on men's reaction to their looks. And so it would make sense that women might want to look fit and trim and youthful, but it's a sort of puzzle as to why they would actually diet to the point of being almost skeletal, being unhealthy, and in fact, dieting to the point at which they're no longer ovulating. So they're no longer menstruating, so they don't even, in that sense, appear as reproductive adult women anymore. And so this is more the puzzling kind of problem, and it's a problem that historically has affected some parts of the world more than others. Uh, an early study that I was involved in showed that uh, if you look cross-culturally, societies where women tend to have a lot of power outside the home, but their value as wives and mothers tends to be somewhat undervalued, those are the cultures that have the biggest problem with eating disorders, and that cultures that are more traditional, anorexia is not as much of a problem. So this really sort of brought to mind for me the question of whether in fact reproductive suppression and mechanisms of reproductive suppression could be what's behind what's going on in terms of eating disorders. And so I've spent a fair bit of time looking at what kinds of factors increase girls' eating disorder behavior uh, versus what kinds of factors might help prevent uh, eating disorder behavior. And it's interesting because some of the factors that have the biggest role to play are things like social support. So if she's dating someone, having a really supportive relationship from her partner tends to be preventative in terms of uh, eating disorders having um, low levels of social support and a lot of competition for other women, a very highly competitive female environment, like an all-girls school, that tends to increase the risk of her developing eating disorders.